Let's take a ch tour of the Black Island Sound and Approaches chart, 13205TR, and the points that we use on this chart in the chart navigation section. So we're gonna start, we're gonna go on this counterclockwise, this clockwise journey. And let's start at Black Island. So this is Black Island, and here is a light at the end of Black Island. This is Black Island North Light. If we come on down, here's Great Salt Pond, and we use these buoys, this group of buoys here at the entrance to the Great Salt Pond. Here's a light, here's Green Can 5, and here is Red 2 with the bell. And if we come down here in the center of Block Island, here we have Arrow, rotating white and green. This is Block Island Arrow Beacon, and it's not in the light list. This is Aeronautical Aid to Navigation. If you come down here, here's Old Point Harbor, and we will often use this Southeast Point Light. This circle around it says it has a radio beacon, which is described here. RBN 301 so this is Southeast Point Light and there'll be problems that say you are one mile due south of Black Island Southeast Point Light alright so we'll use this and if we come we come this way here is the compass rose this is the main compass rose you'll there's another one further over this way but it's very cluttered so this one is very appropriate. Now if we come down here to Montauk Point, we see the first thing, the tip of Montauk Point, we see Montauk Point light. That is this, it's always got a magenta flare. You can see the characteristics, flashes, five seconds, it's 168 feet, you can see it from 24 miles. Then below it is this radio beacon. Always use this light. It'll often say, you are three miles due east of Montauk Point Light. You can kind of see there. A lot of problems are done here. So that's Montauk Point Light. And up here, this is Shagwong Reef. A little bit further up, this is Seabrish Shoal. So this Seabrish Shoal buoy we will use. Shagwong Reef buoy we will use, and we will often use here. This is Lake Montauk. This is the entrance to Lake Montauk, and on the starboard side here, this they'll say light one close aboard. So this is you can see the characteristics. Flashes green every four seconds. It's 28 feet tall. You can see it from seven miles, and it's number one. We'll use this point all the time. The entrance to Lake Montauk with light one close aboard. Right there. And if we go through here, this is Gardner's Island. We won't use it much. Come this way. This is Plum Island. There's a few general chart navigation questions about this part. Plum Island is a US government property and is closed to the public. It's pretty well guarded. And then again, here's this compass rose that is very cluttered. You can use it, but it's more difficult than using the other one. Here's Great Gull Island, but here is Little Gull Island Light. We use this, this mark, quite often. If we come up here, here's Race Point, and this light here is Race Rock Light, and the characteristics are just to the left. Flash is red every 10 seconds. It's 67 feet tall. You can see it from 67. That must be 19. It's a little... This stuff is hard to read sometimes. It's cluttered. And it's got a horn. So this is Race Rock Light. Now if we come over here and up a little ways, this is South Dumpling. And this is North Dumpling. You will sometimes see North Dumpling referred to. And over here, this is Latimer Reef Light. It's kind of right here, Latimer Reef Light. And you can see it's got the characteristics, flashes every six seconds, 55 feet tall. You can see it from nine miles. It's got a bell. All right, so Fisherman's Island. Let's keep cruising this way. Here's Watch Hill Point. Watch Hill Point will be used quite often in three-point fix problems. You'll get 
Watcho Point, Latimer Reef, Little Gull Island. Okay, and then we keep going and we have the ponds up here at the top. Winnipeg Pond. And they'll say the entrance to Winnipeg Pond. Well, if you follow Winnipeg Pond, this little channel here, here is the entrance to Winnipeg Pond. And if you cruise over here, we have a pond with a crazy name. Quono Chontog Pond. I call it Quono Pond or Q Pond. And here is the entrance. Right here. There's the entrance to Quono Pond. You can enter it here. So when they refer to the entrance to Quono Pond, they'll often send you from the entrance to Quono Pond to the entrance to Great Salt Pond here. So that's Quono Pond. And we cruise over. Here's Ninigrit Pond. And here is the entrance right here it's very small so you can see the pond and you see this small entrance that's the entrance to Ninigrit pond and they'll refer to that now we keep going through and we're coming to point judith it's in this top corner now point judith light is here and you see it's got a beacon on it and point judith light so they'll use point judith light and they'll also use the west gap of Point Judith. You see this? This is Point Judith Harbor of Refuge, right? All in here. And it has two entrances. There's the west gap, which makes sense, then the west side. Then there's the east gap. And the problems will refer to the west gap of Point Judith. They'll say things like, from the entrance to Great Salt Pond to the West Gap of Point Judith, Harbor of Refuge. And this is where they talk about. You can use this light here. This is a basic tour of the points that we use on Block Island Chart 13205 for our purposes in solving these chart navigation problems to pass our Coast Guard exam for licenses up to 100 tons.